um, our company has um, developed and uh, manufactures electronic access control solutions which are integrated into the form factors of mechanical cylinders. So the user may just plug out the mechanical cylinder out of his door and replace them by our digital cylinders. So within two or three minutes, uh, your, uh, you can have electronic access control in your door. And that means from then on you may reprogram when keys are lost, when uh, you can have huge locking systems where you define who shall have access where and when, also time is, can be programmed or you may have access locks, who was in at what time. Uh, it's especially meant for huge locking systems with thousands of cylinders and thousands of locks where um, the mechanic administration would be a nightmare with all the lost keys. So, so it's a quite smart solution. It's very easy to install and um, yeah, due to the relative low cost uh, of the system, it is possible to have electronic access control in every door, not just some main entrances. You may have it in your home door as well. This would be a very small locking system consisting maybe of one or two locks and a couple of keys. Um, again, you can program who shall have the right to access your door and who has not the right to access the door. However, right now, the um, uh, the management system, uh, it's a quite complex software, um, is not so suitable for the private market. However, it would, um, it's a good solution for residential situations where you have one facility manager managing all the apartment in a huge residential building. But we are wor working on solutions that make it very easy uh, by just tapping cylinders with your mobile phone uh, to, to program who is getting access. Um, yeah, my impression is that a lot is going on. It's still in the, we are still in a situation where everybody is checking, where things still have to, uh, there's still some open issues, especially um, around the card emulation mode. And, um, but I expect that we will see in the next two or three years a kind of explosion. Yeah, because NFC is such so simple, people will love it and it makes life so easy. You can use it for access control. Yeah. You can use it for, to replace your complete wallet, all the cards, whatever you have in it. You can, uh, as you can get information at certain spots. It's, there are millions of possibilities. So the user experience is, uh, is characterized by the usage of credentials. Our credentials are no longer mechanical keys, but either cards or mobile phones with card emulation mode. Yeah. So how does it work? This is a, uh, the cylinder is free spinning. When your mobile phone, other when your credential is okay, you touch it, then you get five seconds to open or lock, and then after five seconds it's free spinning again. And if you want to open the lock, again, you will have to uh, tap your phone and then you open it. As an alternative for more convenience, you may use a handle-based solution. It's just faster access control. Again, you tap your phone and then the clutch is operated and you can operate the latch. Uh -huh. um, here we have a little overview how key distribution works in our system. Um, in the first step, the user downloads the mobile key app from the App Store. This is very easy. No? And then he has got, he's got the app on his phone. In the second step, you, you have here the 
system administrator. This could be the facility manager of a big residential house housing project, but this can be um, the security guy of a bank or of a hospital or of a university. Here you define which keys shall have access at what doors and at what time. Once this is defined, the key data sets are pushed via the internet to some server which is hosted right now in Austria and this server can be called by your phone and you get the key which gives you access for a certain time to certain locks. This is a very helpful solution for healthcare services or for field maintenance stuff. They have working sites which change every day. You know? They have to visit remote sites to do some repair job and the next day they will have to go to some completely different space. And here it's a very helpful thing and you can just send them the key to their mobile phone. They get access to their site, do their repair job and then after a couple of hours the key will expire. Yeah.